Talbe mulai mengembangkan bisnis di Kamboja sejak 2004. Kamboja merupakan pasar yang cukup potensial dengan pertumbuhan ekonomi yang baik, sehingga negara ini menjadi tujuan ekspor produk-produk Kalbe. Hai, saya Kalbe. My name is Octavianus. Currently, I'm the country manager of Kalbe Cambodia. I'm Indonesian. I've been taking care and develop Kalbe business in Cambodia for almost 13 years. Hai, saya Kalbe. My name is Christopher Aditya Halim, Group Brand Manager for Kalbe Consumer Health in Cambodia. I have been with Kalbe for four years, but previously I was assigned to Myanmar and I joined Kalbe Cambodia team in January 2021. Hi, Insan Kalbe. My name is Lalin. I'm a business unit manager of Kalbe Pharma Cambodia. I have working in Kalbe for almost 11 years now and I still happy to work in this largest pharmaceutical uh, Indonesia company. Hi, Insan Kalbe. I'm Chalita Dharma Prema. I'm a business unit manager for Kalbe Cambodia. I'm responsible for three subclasses, cerebrovascular, hospital line, and woman and child. I've been working in Kalbe Cambodia for more than three years now. In August 2022, I'll be completing my fourth year. Hi, Insan Kalbe. My name is Tira. I'm finance and HR manager, and also PSC MF from headquarters. Before coming to Cambodia, I was assigned to Kalbe Sri Lanka. I joined Kalbe Sri Lanka as a medical representative in 2012. The experience in Cambodia has been exceptional. Cambodia is a beautiful country with very humble people. Talking about country Cambodia, the fun facts are Number one, Kingdom of Cambodia is a monarchy country headed by a king. But for administrative government is led by the prime minister. Cambodia is located in Indochina region with 17 million population and 95% of its population are Khmer ethnic with Buddhism as their main religion. Number two, in last decade, Cambodia has been transformed its economy from the poor country to the middle low income country. Its economy has been growing significantly in average 7% on yearly GDP growth. Government are welcoming investors from many countries to invest in Cambodia. Number three, Based on population pyramid, over 60% of its population are below 30 years old. It's young generation market. This kind of consumer are dynamic, willing to try something new, and they are branded oriented. Kalbe is well known for so many years in Cambodia, especially for the uh, pharmaceutical and healthcare sector. Kalbe product have been accepted and perceived as a good quality product among the customer like doctor, pharmacist, and patient. Currently, there are four Kalbe consumer health brands exported to Cambodia. Under respiratory care category, we have Procol, Woods, and Mixagrip, and under digestive category, we have Proma. The first Kalbe product exported to Cambodia was Procol Flu in 2002 because we saw the opportunity to develop OTC products in Cambodia and then not so many flu products in the market at the time. So the people Obviously, it was a difficult challenge because it's a different country, it's a different market and I have to understand the market, understand the consumer behavior and then make decisions in order to the business to move forward. Kalbe consumer health products are highly accepted by Khmer people, especially for Procol and Woods. The reasons are availability, affordable price, and of course, the, the efficacy. The uniqueness of Kalbe Cambodia among Kalbe bases in other countries. First, as per 2022, Kalbe Cambodia has four lines of businesses with more than 100 registered SKUs of Kalbe products, the most products registered in Ministry of Health in one Kalbe country. The second, some of the key products are market leaders in Cambodia, like Procol Flu, in flu category, Woods in Capsirup, Hemapo in Erythropoietin, and Brand Egg in Citicolin Market. You can find our products at nearby pharmacies, whether it's traditional, modern, or pharmacies at clinic and hospital. Some pharmacies also sell our products online through Facebook, 
or delivery apps such as Foodpanda, Yam24, and Grab. Pharmaceutical market in Cambodia is very competitive. There are so many competitors enter to this small market. The total size of pharmaceutical uh, market in Cambodia is around 300 million US dollar. But still, there are so many um, competitors like big and small uh, pharmaceutical company uh, coming to this small market. Calbe Cambodia has engaged with four local partners here for consumer health products with DKSH and for pharma or prescription drugs with Zulik Pharma. These two multinational companies are considered as top pharmaceutical distributors in Cambodia. Another two partners are Intermedica distributing Estragios and one more is Yule Diversity as our trading partner for nutrition products. During this COVID-19, uh, almost all the country facing a lot of challenging and for pharma division, the most challenging uh, that we face are meeting the customer. It become uh, very difficult for us during this COVID and also all the marketing activity, we have to change the way of doing it by trying to do it uh, online and also uh, some offline or some doing hybrid. And another thing is uh, stock supply. It become uh, our issue also because uh, it can be difficult for the supplying and uh, the clearance and it's become less than before because of the uh, restriction of the country also. And if we talk about the last three and a half years, more than two years were affected by the pandemic. Therefore, it was a completely different challenge. However, we were able to identify the opportunities within that challenge and then perform better in the last two and a half years. Therefore, I must give a lot of credit to Calbe Cambodia team for their excellent commitment and the support that they have extended during the last three and a half years. Kabe Cambodia, we have a uh, total employee 61 employee. This one includes uh, two uh, Indonesia people, uh, one Sri Lankan and another one is Filipino. Yes, foreign employee engagement is very important to all the companies around the world. And at the meantime, Kabe Cambodia also have some activity that we have done so far, such as employee engagement survey, team abroad activity, we open speak to employee by employee healthy program. As a local Cambodian employee, I'm so proud to work uh, in Kalbe and as a Kalbe family. Uh, we are happy to work in here because uh, we work on value that calls Panchastrada. One of the value is trust. Trust is the glow of life. Kalbe give trust to all employees in Cambodia to build a business and, um, and I feel Kalbe is like home. The experience and the exposure that I got within these three and a half years were immense. I've been able to learn so many things and develop myself as a true professional in the pharmaceutical industry. Therefore. I would like to thank Kalbe for giving me this golden opportunity. Thank you. How do you keep employee engagement with the company? One, we need to create team have their own value. If our employee have their own value, I believe that they can bring company to get success in the business. Two, encourage team to speak up. By open communication face to face. Three, give and receive feedback from our team. What they are done right or wrong, we have to accept and give the opinion to them. The key success factors of Calbe Business to continue growing in Cambodia are, first, consistency in brand building. We need to keep doing marketing and create the demand activity. 
to make our product well accepted by the Cambodian consumers. We need to build our brand. The second, collaboration with our distributors and outlets to ensure the product availability and feasibility with strong distribution network in the right channel. Kalbe products can be easily accessed by the consumers. And the third, develop good team. People is very important factor to drive Kalbe business. We need to strengthen local employee with strong value, good ethic of working. I'm sure Kalbe Cambodia will grow and success in the future.